How do you feel like the community, the Houston creative community has evolved from like when you guys started? I think it has grown so much. Yeah. Like it has grown so much. I remember when it started. Welcome to HB Stories. My name is Calvin Lupia at Calvin Visuals. I am the founder here at HB. And, <laughs> and today, uh, so we have a special guest today. Um, MV4. For the two people that don't know you. If you're a photographer in Houston and you don't know Enfi, I don't know what you do. But for the two people that don't know who you are, <laughs> tell them who you are. Tell them who I am. Yes. That's a good question. Well, I'm Jafet, that's actually my real name, and I go by Enfi. A lot of people ask me what does Enfi stand for? INF stands for influence, and PHY stands for photography. I am a versatile photographer and uh but I do enjoy a lot of exploring a lot of abandoned buildings. So. I've been following your work for a long time, so how how did you get started with your photography? How did I get started? Uh, well, I always always in the industry, but then I actually mm -hmm. bought a camera from this DJ. I was like, hey dude, I'll buy your camera. He was like, seriously? He was like, yeah, I'll buy your camera. It's like 300 bucks. I was like, alright, cool. And I just bought the camera. And then I just went to my first meet. I went to my first abandoned building. I remember that day. I skipped work. <laughs> I got my people to skip school and we went to Galveston and we just we tore it up and that's when I knew it was like, yo, this is pretty cool. The main thing in Houston back then, like the It was street. It was oh, street, street, yeah. Street no, that's true. Popping, but... Yeah, street too popping. Yeah, I guess the first generation of photographers yeah, yeah. with watermark on it, it was mm -hmm. nothing but rooftops and architecture and buildings, you know. Then the second iteration is like when I came in, yeah. it was still the same, but it was developing it into more street, like people-wise. How, how's that different from street photography now? Vandals and street. I feel street is just going out and actually lurking. So that's a, it's a word that a lot of people don't know. Like also lurking is just, you know, just yeah. exploring Houston. And, you know, it's just basically, it was like exploring Houston, wasting your gas, and just driving around, just looking for spots and yeah. getting yourself in trouble, basically. So you're probably not engineer. I am. So I know, if, bro. If, <laughs> I'm a starting off photographer. Like I just picked up a camera today. Like how how do I use the Instagram platform to? How do you use Instagram? Well, first, because for some, you say you've been you, how oh, how long have you been on Instagram? How long I've been? I think I've been on Instagram for about one year. For real? Yeah. Damn. Okay. Yeah, one year. And so I've been. I started shooting without being on Instagram, just okay. so I can get the. The vibe, yeah. and then someone's like, "Yo, you should jump on Instagram." I was like, "What is that?" You know, it's like, it's like just jump on it. I was like, "All right, cool, I'm jumping." I was like, "Mind blown." It was like seeing all these photographers around the whole entire world. I was like, "Yo, this is pop. This is pretty cool." Like, so uh, for beginners, yeah. I guess pick up camera and take workshops. Don't be uh, don't be prideful. You know, it's just like you be humble and just learn, and then. Take Instagram as a platform and just upload photos, but don't really care about the likes, bro. Just do it for the art. You shoot other things. Right? Yeah, I do. Actually, outside of Instagram, yeah. I'm actually shooting. I shoot a lot of weddings. Okay. Yeah. You shoot weddings? I shoot weddings, bro. If he shoots weddings. <laughs> okay. You see that I did not. <laughs> I think I get my money from, bro. <laughs> Is it like a like a wedding? I did, ten, I did 10 weddings this year. 10 weddings? Yeah. What? Where's all that work? It's on my website. See, okay. nobody checks yeah. websites nowadays. Just, just, you know what I'm saying? It's all like, Instagram is like the more than day business yeah. part. Yeah. I mean, so how do you, because um, these days now, if I have money, right? I've never done photography. There's a lot of this out there. I buy a camera. I buy a, I buy a $1,500 camera. Take some nice photos in auto, whatever you call it, right? And I call myself a photographer and I'm charging $50. Mm. What's your take on it? Dude, I'll be like, yo, we need to chill, bro. <laughs> Take a chill pill. <laughs> like, I mean, because it's pretty much easy right now to become a photographer. It, like, your phone takes Actually, a, ti a title is just a title. True, true, true. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you're a full time photographer? For three months right now, yes. So you, that's all you do for That's work. all that's I do. Paying bills, yeah, that's paying the bills. Yeah, that's paying the photography. bills, that's paying everything. How, how, how'd you get to the point where photography is like your main source of income? Uh, it all started with volunteering myself for six months and Grind. just doing Grind. nothing but free work. Grind. You know, nothing. I actually did six what? months nothing but free work. A lot of people were like, "You crazy?" And what's like, what's your definition of free work? Free work. It's like not like complaining. Sliding in DMs. 
Nah, nah, I never did none of that, bro. I actually, I did it the old school way. You know, I grew up like going to the offices, going to businesses, yeah, okay. and just like, hey, um, I'm a photographer. I'm trying to get up there. I'll do your page for free, okay. or I do your events for free. And they were just like, anybody wants free work, you know what I'm saying? So, and then from there, I started getting connections. People started just recommending me. And next thing you know, I started shooting for the Houston Police Department and doing their family. HPD? Yeah, HPD. <laughs> and then I started, like, it went from Bro, there, and then, it went, out there. And, then, <laughs> and then it went to court. So I know the court people, the lawyer and all that, I started shooting their family portraits. And all for free work, you know? Cause no, you know, because a lot of people that get into photography, <clears throat> they, see, they see somebody charging an extreme amount of money, to you, and therefore they think, I'm going to buy a camera this much, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's a certain discipline of what you just say, of putting out, you know, getting out there, putting your work out, doing it for free. I Not do a lot that. of people do that. Yeah, exactly. Not a lot of people do exactly. Not that I know of, I don't think a lot of people do that. And then that's when I got that contract with DBA Compass. Uh, so how, how did they contact you? Or no, you uh, I was actually, they hired me to do this, uh, this new body lift weight competition where a lot of, People that do body weights, I guess, and there yeah, was a competition. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let me get you, nah, bro. Let me get you. Out, <laughs> and so I took a picture of this lady, and then she ended up being the CEO of the, uh, BBA. Wow. And all right, like of all things, and then from there, I just jumped in. I just jumped in. I was like, contract here, and yeah. then I'm in. And then now, they ever shoot Super Bowl and do all this and just dynamos and stadiums. And Dude, so, you know, it's just like, That's awesome, dude. It's like, That's real. so it's like, but I guess if I had that mentality of I'm a charge, I'm a charge, I'm a mm -hmm. charge, then I don't think I would have gotten to where I am because yeah. a lot of people would have said no. And then all those connections that I said no, they probably could have given me some, they probably could have gotten me something higher. So it's like, now, right now, low key, nobody knows, mm -hmm. but right now, I know the CEO of the Adidas. Her? Adidas, yes. A lot of people don't know who you are. They probably don't even know who I am right now. It's like, who's <laughs> this guy? It was like, <laughs> a lot of people, well, why, I've noticed that with some photographers. I used to do that too. I would just put my work and my personal brand. I would not put my personal brand out there. Do you do, is that strategic? Do you just do it on purpose? Like, how does that work? No, I've been doing that since I was a kid. Okay. Uh, since I was a kid, I never liked social media. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Never did like social media, never did like showing who I am. <laughs> the YouTube series that we're gonna be doing every weekly, we're featuring some um, culture leaders in the creative community in Houston. And um, it's a chance for us to, not only myself, to learn from people like Envy and everybody that's doing big things in Houston, but it's a chance for you to ask questions and get to know them. So, uh, how short is Envy? Bro, oh, no, bro, that's wrong. What's that thing? Envy is tall, he's taller than me. No, I'm actually pretty short, guys. So I'm pretty, uh... Uh, so who who are some of your um, influences, like people who inspire you, like some of your mentors, your favorite photographers? Just beats, like just like if you can make a beat, I get inspired by that, and I start thinking about visuals and dude, I can capture this photo. I know it's so weird just to think like that. It's like so I'm, like then again, I'm a dancer, so. Um... <laughs> but You're a dancer. No, I'm not a dancer anymore. So you used to dance? I used to dance, yeah, actually, gotcha. yeah. Gotcha. But um, I think what inspires me now is the elders. No, no, bro, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gassing him up right now. Um, yeah. I think it would be Watermark. You know, George. Um, oh, yeah, I've seen yeah, his work is freaking awesome. I love his symmetry and everything. I think he's one of the first guys that I saw on Instagram and kind of like, you know, I, I, I dig his work and I kind of want to do what he's doing. And um, what, 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 do you, what do you shoot with? What's your gear? And recently, uh, I just basically have the 80D Canon, no, 60D Canon, yeah. which is the same megapixels as the 3Ti. It's no big difference. Okay. If, when you do the research, you'll be like, oh, it's totally right. Yeah. Um, but I think it's on the lens. I have a 10 by 20 millimeter. 10 by 20? Yes. Freaking wide, though. A 3.5 I stop, uh -huh. and then a 51.4. Like, how, how do you feel like the community, the Houston creative community has evolved from like when you guys started? I think it has grown so much. Yeah. Like, it has grown so much. I remember when it started, it was literally about, I was like counting like 50 people, you know. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like more than 100. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just crazy, it's freaking bro. insane. There's a meetup like, almost every two weeks, which is cool, which is good. I think it gets pretty boring though, you know. It's like, it's, 
in my in my head I'm like, I think y'all y'all meet it was pretty lit, you know, because yeah. y'all had it organized. Oh. That's what I liked about it. You know, it was organized. Y'all had it. Y'all know when to end and when to start. There's other meetups that I'm like, you go there and then all you do is just walking for hours, and next thing you know, everyone's just going their own way. By the end of the time, and they're like, at the very end, they're like, nobody's there. You know? True. True. But I think the community has grown, grown so huge. Like it's ridiculous now. I'm like, wow. Now we can. We have walked the cities with a oh, bunch yeah. of people and have cops tell us what are we doing. You know, that's yeah. how big it has gotten. Yeah. So it's like it's freaking insane. So I'm pretty excited for next year to see how oh, for, big for. it's gonna get. You know, just <laughs> so it's like Chris J. Lou. Oh, that boy, that boy Chris, bro. Dude, he's some decent boys. Yeah. 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 yeah, dude. I mean, Houston, just Houston creative in general. Like, popping right now, bro. Like, everybody's putting out good content. It's ridiculous. Man. That's right, that's right. What I'm liking about it is that everyone's putting their own content and they're being original. Sure. You know, that's, that's what I'm digging now a lot. It's like, especially with Chris. Me and him, we're part of Fatal Frames. Yeah. So it's like, for us to get knowledgeable, like these two people from Houston mm -hmm. are about to be part of it. Fatal Frames was like a big, huge step for us. And like, so, oh, right. so we'll I decided to finally show my face this year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like I think I want to give back to the community yeah. just because the community um, gave so much to me, you know, because it wasn't for the community. Um, for the few people that know that Instagram, well, my Instagram followers actually paid a plane ticket for me to fly out to New York and That's explore the whole East Coast. And so for to me, that was like a blessing. You know, it's like I've never experienced something like, hey, here's a ticket, go mm -hmm. explore. Cause we want to see more abandoned buildings in your Instagram. <laughs> like that's kind of odd, you know, someone just coming to you here, like, you know, so I was just like, yo, this is awesome. Yeah. Like this, it just brought tears to my eyes. And I think from there, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna get back to the community. I'm gonna host a meet. Who would you want to see up here? I think Bandos would be uh, my boy, uh, Fantastic 420, he's from Philadelphia. And then for Houston would be, I don't know enough of the new cats though. <laughs> I really don't, I'm sorry. Um, I actually want to see Jay Bun. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Yeah, Jay Bun 33. Yeah. yeah. That's a Houston OG, original. bro. Right that's an OG right <laughs> there. That's OG right there. And still taking photos. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same with Jay Bun. First meet, uh, do, you, do you remember Street Keepers? Yeah, I remember yeah. Street Keepers. Yeah, yeah. yeah they hosted a, a meet. That was like a long time. That meet mm -hmm. was lit, though. Yeah. That meet was lit. That's funny right, story. You. I've been to all the meets, but nobody knew who I was. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just never yeah. was like, and they're like, you were there? Yeah, I'm sorry. And so, yeah, it was like, until finally I got featured on the Houston Bridge, that's when people yeah. started realizing, oh, that's him. I have seen you everywhere. Yeah, this is MV. <laughs> I appreciate you coming out, bro. Yeah, man. You know, he it's doesn't read do stuff like this. I really so. don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> it means a lot for me, for him to come out here. But um, that is it. Thank you all for watching. This is going to be on YouTube. Uh